Let's now take a mystery tour. Since it began in 2007, the film Happening, known as Secret Cinema, has acquired cult status. For the current production, the 17th, which starts tonight and runs through January, 15,000 tickets have been sold already, and all on trust. For Secret Cinema does not tell you what film you will see or even where you will see it. Clues and instructions are fed via social media networks once the ticket is bought. Wear this, carry that, read this letter and so on. Previous events have included Lawrence of Arabia in the colonial splendour of Alexandra Palace and surrounding park, or one flew over the cuckoo's nest in a hospital. People attending this new season know only that it is a post-war film noir. When they get there, they'll be subsumed into the world, recreated in and around a spectacular old building, surrounded by characters and situations and invited to be part of it. Just before the first night, I went to see the founder and director of Secret Cinema, Fabien Regal, on the very edge of the filmic experience itself. Johnny? Yeah, Johnny. And here's one of our actors um, trying to open the door. But essentially, this is the home to one of our key characters, and he controls the influx of this doorway. It all comes through here. It's going to be a much better actor than this one. <laughs> What was it that you wanted to bring to the cinema going experience to people that you felt that they were missing? I guess it's this sense of why can't cinema be a social experience? I'm not talking about people talking during the film. During the film, it's sacred. You watch the film. But the idea of the journey to the cinema, the, the experience of buying your ticket, of eating food, of, of doing all these different things, why can't it be something in which it's much more of an event, much more of an experience? And so Secret Cinema came out of that. It also came out of this idea that we are all continuously led by technology. All we do is check our phones, check our Facebook, all we, this is what we do. And, the, and everyone's telling everyone everything. So if we can do something where no one tells, we keep something very, very secret, then perhaps it can produce something quite, something special. You know, it's like this kind of idea that the secret is that um, it allows people to, to lose themselves in another story. You know, and I, I guess we all need to lose ourselves. And I, I think it's, I'm interested in the idea of creating an experience that people can lose themselves in, in, in culture. I mean, when you started out with sort of the earliest things, I mean, what, did it happen immediately that people got involved, picked up the idea straight away? Um, how quick are people to get, get themselves immersed in it? We started with Future Shorts, and that, and that allowed us to, I guess, put, create a secret film festival in which showed short films that people had never really heard of or could only see very late at night or on the tail end of film festivals. So the idea of people coming to a different location than a cinema kind of started, at, you know, nine years ago. But as we've built it, the audience over time have come more and more trusting in terms of how we curate. With short film, it was all about getting short films seen and people talking about them and allowing filmmakers to have a, a real audience, you know, a, a, the biggest audience that they can. With Future Cinema, it was about creating an event around film. And then Secret Cinema, when we first launched underneath London Bridge, we did a film called Paranoid Park. And we created a skate park and the audience were coming, essentially, were part of this skate world. And uh, 400 people came, it sold out. And the, the concept was initially that it would be a secret location. And I actually kind of mistyped something in, a, in an email that said, oh, and the film, you know, the film and the location will not be known. Um, and then I just suddenly dawned on me, it's like, could, it, could we have the audacity <laughs> to not tell people what the film is? And then it was kind of like, well, we have an audience. The audience are coming to our events at Future Shorts. Why would they not come to, and then just this concept of, you know, secret cinema just sounded, well, everything should be secret, as much as possible be secret. And then obviously I was like, well, we need to tell them where it is, otherwise there won't be an event. <laughs> so <laughs> we told them where it was. But, and what was wonderful is that we were so ambitious at the beginning, but quite disorganised. Um, and because it's secret, each time we would forget to do something, they'd go, oh, that's very clever. Um, they didn't send the email. <laughs> That's all about that. And, and so it realised that the audience were waiting to, to, I guess, take that journey and help us create it. And where we are now is like, you've got an audience of 19,000 buying a ticket to a secret 
and they are making this as much as we're making this. The 150 people working on this now, you have 19,000 people who are essentially helping us make it because they're investing in it, they're believing in it, and they're allowing it to happen. Otherwise, this crazy idea would never happen. It just wouldn't. It's them, essentially. I really like the idea that they try and immerse you in the in the film that you're about to see. So it's an experience as well as just going to see a film. It makes it a bit different. I don't actually know what's going on. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the appeal. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's going just, on. just the excitement of not knowing what's going on. <laughs> and we're big film fans, so we thought, you know, we just pop down. I think there's obviously been a move towards getting audiences more involved through, you know, a lot more of a sort of cabaret and burlesquing and that sort of thing in the last few years. So I guess, you know, in, in some ways, an extension of that, you're feeling you're part of it. And I think, you know, that's something that you don't feel you get an opportunity very often in, in a lot of arts performances nowadays. So that's a great thing. I love film and I wanted a cinematic adventure. <laughs> You're pretty much guaranteed that it's going to be a pretty epic film. That's what I like about it. <laughs> if it's a fairly well-known film, what are you hoping to add to the experience of that film by all of this? It's like a basic child-like dream that I've always had, which is, why couldn't you just step into the film? When you're watching Bugsy Malone, why couldn't you just... Why can't? Why am I watching it on a screen? Why the? And I always used to look at the audience in front of the screen in that space. Like I can't. We can't. I can't talk. To, it's not that I don't want to disrupt the film. It's just like I want to be in the film. And as a child, you think you can be in the film. Why can't you be in the film now? And that's essentially what we're doing. As, as soon as the audience receive a ticket, they are starting that journey. They're becoming part of the narrative of the characters. They're choosing their character. They're dressing up. And as soon as they walk into the building, they essentially become the film. Johnny? Anyway, without further ado, I'd like to welcome you to the gates of hell, as the city is so uh, whimsically known. Thank you for coming. Please follow me and no questions. Fabian Regal of Secret Cinema. Tonight's the first showing of the mystery film. If you want to know more or to buy a ticket, you should go to the website. Secret Cinema runs until January the 22nd.